Hello, everybody. Whoa, Osito. Oh, my goodness. My helpers are here. This is Osito and this is Mochi. Hold on a second. They're doing their job. I know sometimes, I don't know if you guys have dogs, but sometimes, I don't know what's happening, but they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're guarding the house. All right, Osito, do you want to say hi to our friends? Okay, there's our friends over here. And then Mochi, I think you met her the other day. All right, I'm gonna ask them to move to the side because we need to get started. Okay, Coach Zaken here. I can't believe this is our fourth day. Um, we're still out of school and we need to stay active, okay? So a couple things. Have you guys been washing your hands with soap and water? Okay, awesome. And then I do wanna make sure you have been making your bed every day, helping your family out, okay? Um, we're gonna get started, so let's go. Osito, by the way, for those of you who have been taking Spanish, or maybe you even speak Spanish, tell me what Osito means, Osito. All right, do you know? Yes, it means little bear in Spanish. All right, uh, pardon me, Osito, I'm gonna get started with the workout. You can still guard the house, but I need to get started, okay. Jumping jacks, 30, you know what to do. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Awesome, okay, let's do our side stretch. Looks like Osito's gonna help me out today. He's gonna be our guest, uh, our guest athlete, I suppose. All right, so we're gonna hold this down. 10, nine, eight, seven, deeper, six, five, bend it, four, three, two, and one. Good, let's flip it the other way, awesome. All right, sorry Osito, hold it. Come on, bend that knee deeper, you know what to do. Bend it, bend it, bend it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're working on our hips, opening them up, toes pointed, arch back with your shoulders. Again, opening up your hips, lean back. Let's hold it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, we're gonna go the other side now. That's right, Osito, good job. Look in the same direction as your guardian. I'm actually his guardian. All right, so let's point our toes forward, hips squared, arch back, shoulders squared. Let's go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So now what we're gonna do is this. I know some of you, I just came to my attention that some ski slopes have been shut down, which is a total bummer for, for anybody who skis or likes to go up to the snow or the mountains. Um, this is a, an exercise that I think a lot of skiers do. Um, I know uh, I worked on this um, when I used to ski when I was younger, okay? So from here, we're gonna do crossing over, and you can bring your hands out in front of you, to the side, wherever you're comfortable. But we're gonna go up into our position, our straightaway position, and then we're gonna cut cross back, okay? Up and back. We're gonna do this 20 times, okay? So that's 10 each side, all right? Let's start, ready? One, two, three. We're gonna go slow for our knees, right? Four. Five, and if this, by the way, if this does hurt your knees, you don't have to do it. Six, or just don't go as low. Seven, eight, nine, 10, that's it. 11, if you can go lower, that's fine. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, that's right, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, good. 
Staying with that skiing mentality, zigzags, hands on the knees. You can go low, bend your butt down so you're really using your leg muscles. And we're gonna go side to side, okay? We're gonna zig and zag. So we're zigging and we're zagging and we're zigging and we're zagging. And let's count it out 20 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, lower 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good job, shake it out. Excellent job. Okay, arm rotations forward. Let's switch to some upper body work. Give your legs a break. Big circles forward. All right, I think Osito got bored. Actually, I think my daughter's making some breakfast and he probably smelled the eggs. Which reminds me, have you been eating healthy? Yes? Okay. What did you have for breakfast today? All right. Eggs are always a good choice. Cereal. If you have any fruit, I don't know if you have fruit in the house, but fruit's always a good option. That's right, let's go back, big circles back. Good, big circles back, big, big circles back. Okay. Let's do our twisting again, some twists. That's it. Just twisting, keep it going. That's right. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, okay. While our feet are still wide apart, we're gonna make sure they're about two shoulders width apart. I want you to take, again, your strong hands, because I know every day you get stronger and stronger. Grab your ankles, forehead down, nose down. Try to bring them, try to bring your forehead between your legs, all right? Hold it down, come on, pull it down. All right, I am trying so hard, you guys, to bring my head through my legs. I'm not having a lot of luck. But I'm gonna, I promise you, I'm gonna keep trying as hard as I can every day with you. All right? So you guys gotta help me out too. All right, when I'm grabbing my ankles, let me pull it through. I'm trying to get closer. Let's count to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job, okay? Hands on your hips. We're gonna arch back, lower back stretch. Okay, come on, you got it. It's also good for your shoulders. Look behind you. What do you see? What's behind you? Oh my goodness. The sun is not as bright as I would have liked. A little overcast, but I do see some beautiful plants in the back. Awesome, okay. Now we're gonna go side stretch over. Big side stretch over. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go to the other side. Let's do this. Ready? Hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Awesome. Okay, now from here, while again, while our feet are wide, you're gonna take your hands, grab one ankle, try to bring your nose, your forehead to that knee side. Ready? Grab it, pull it. Oh, I'm getting so close. I'm probably about this far away from my knee. How far are you guys? I'm about that far away probably. How far are you? Okay. Oh, I knew some of you guys could do it. I knew some of you were bringing your heads to your knee. That's so good. All right, ready? Come on, I'm trying. Oh. Okay, hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Up, breathe it out. Got to breathe. Go to the other side. Let's do this. Ready? Uh, hold it. Pull it down. Pull your head down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come up. Breathe out. Nice. Okay. While we are working on our lower body stretching, from here, one leg over. Crossing it over. Strong hands, grabbing our ankles, bring our forehead down to our knees. 
All right, hold it. All right, let's start. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Awesome. Come back up, shake it out. We're going to move the other one over. That's right. Hands down, grab your ankles. Hold and pull. That's right, pull it. Let's start at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Awesome. Okay, Wonder Woman pose. That's right. Again, every exercise we do is designed for you to be able to do in an apartment or a room in your house or wherever it is that you are. But it's, it's, it's designed for a small area in case you still are inside, you have to be inside your house. In addition, all the equipment we use, sh you should be able to find somewhere in your apartment or your house, okay? So yes, this is one of my favorite exercises, Wonder Woman pose, you know why. That's right, Wonder Woman is awesome. All right, strong muscles. Really hold it down, pull down, strengthen your arms, opposite knee to elbow, we're gonna go 30 times. Okay, so that's one. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, higher, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, higher, one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. Awesome. Really, really good. Strong hands again. Grab your ankle or your top part of your toes. You're gonna pull back. Again, we're gonna pull back, stomach in, chest out. Let's hold for 10. Maybe, I mean, earlier we were doing it for a longer period of time, but now we're gonna kind of accelerate because you can do all this stuff now, a lot of it on your own or after, okay? So if you're still feeling like you need to do more exercise after this video, please do more, or maybe you can even go outside, right? You can go outside if, you, if your family allows it, and you could do more jumping jacks. You can maybe run up the street or around the block if someone's watching or if someone's willing to do it with you. Okay, so now we're gonna do the other leg. That was actually over 10 seconds, but I was talking. Let's grab the other one. Okay, stomach in, chest out. Hold it up strong. Again, if you need to Find your balance, you can key in on something in front of you. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring the other leg as high as we can go up. High. So here's the trick. I'm holding it. I'm holding my knee with my hands. But if I take my hands off, it works my stomach muscles, my midsection, my core even more, right? Because now I've got to lift my leg up and I've got to hold my balance. Okay, so let's try that. Hold that up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Higher, right? So now we're going to do the same thing with the other leg. I'm going to hold it up, hold it up, and I want you to keep it as high as you can. If this is, this is fine too, by the way, okay? So I'm gonna try, because I, I got, I wanna hold it up a little bit. Oh! Ah, 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 ah. Gotta get your balance, okay, ready? Excellent, you guys are so much better at it. Okay, ready? Hold it up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so for the last couple days, we've been accumulating household supplies and household items that are gonna help us do our next round of exercises. So the first one we're going to do, remember our broom or mop. That's right, here you go. We're gonna hold it, and if you don't have a broom or a mop, or if this is your first time joining us, don't worry about it. Um, you can either pause the video and go get a broom or a mop, or you can just kind of do a make-believe mop in your hand. Either one works, okay? So from here, holding it up again, you got a good posture, you're up standing up straight, 
You're gonna bring the broom or mop down to the floor. You're gonna bring it up, up, and top, okay? Down, back, floor, up, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna kick it up a little bit. We're gonna a little faster. And when you go down, again, I want your back straight, okay? So your shoulders are gonna be up, your head's gonna be straight ahead forward, looking at me, and then your back is gonna be flat, okay? You're not arching your back like this, back straight like this, because then you're gonna really isolate the back of your legs, which you call the quadricep, no. Right, not quadriceps, they're what? Thank you. That's right, your hamstrings, excellent, okay? But actually, you are working your quadriceps too. I, I mean, you're working both sides of the legs. Okay, ready? We're gonna come up, up, top, okay? So here, it's gonna look this. One, two, three, that's right, come on, four, five, six, Eight, nine, come on, you got it. 10, all right, here's the deal. I think we can do a little bit more. I think we can absolutely do more. Let's go 10 more. Let's get our heart rates up, ready? You're ready for this. This is our fourth day together, come on. Ready, let's go. So we'll start from the bottom. One, two, three, Four, that's right, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Okay. While we have the broom in our hands, let's work on like a shoulder press, okay? It's really lightweight, but it's good to work the motion in the arms, okay? So we're gonna go up, so just like this. Again, I like to have my knees slightly bent, to take some of the pressure off my back. So from here, we're just gonna go up and down, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome, okay? Now, with our hands actually facing down, we're gonna bring it up. So this is like a reverse curl, okay? Again, using our biceps. Let's go, let's do this 20 times, right? I want your arms to be tired by the time we're done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Awesome. Palms up. We're going to do a real curl. Well, the front side curl, really working on the bicep. As you pull up, I want you to tighten your muscles, right? I want you to flex those muscles, all right? So we're going to do this 20 times again, ready? One, pull, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10 more, 11, 12, you got this, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Awesome. All right, so you can put your broom, your um, mop, or your imaginary stick down. It was really nicely done. And now, I, hopefully you guys have a pair of socks. You guys have a pair of socks? What you're gonna do is you're gonna inside out it. And by the way, if you were one of those um, kids that went and got a tennis ball or a softball, so good for you, that's awesome. But I didn't happen to have a tennis ball handy or a softball or a baseball, so I just grabbed a pair of socks. And again, similar idea, we're just gonna throw the sock up and we're gonna catch it. Now, different levels, that's fine. This is totally cool to do, right? You're catching with two hands. If you can catch it with one hand, that's fine too, all right? So what I want you to do is, we're gonna do it together. Let's try to do it 10 times, okay? So 
my personal goal, your personal goal could be different. My personal goal is to do 10 times with each hand, okay? If you wanna do it 10 times, catching it with both hands, that's totally fine too, all right? So let's try to do it together. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now I'm gonna to go to the other hand, right? So one, two, three, four, again, I'm really tracking the sock. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. All right, the last one we're gonna practice is I want you to throw the, the, the ball or the sock up in the air, and I want you to see how many times you can clap, okay? That's one, ooh, that's a couple, that was not bad. All right, can you do that? Throw it up and try to clap, and then catch it if you can. All right, do it again, do it again. That's right, don't, you don't even have to look at me, just do it. Okay, awesome, let's put that, we're gonna put the sock down, we're gonna come back to this tomorrow, okay? Um, the next thing, you should have your soup cans or your vegetable cans, your fruit cans, okay? We're gonna work on our shoulders. So I want you to hold the soup cans out, which is something that we've done before. This time, I want you to actually make circles, okay? Make circles. We're gonna go 10 forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're gonna go backwards. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Do not put the hand, do not put your hands down, okay? Hold them out here, hold them out. We're now gonna put them in front of us, okay? And we're gonna alternate, ready? We're gonna do this 20 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Awesome, bring them back out again, right? We're gonna bring it back out again. And now we're gonna come in and out. You can do this. I know your shoulders are getting sore, but this is the time when you really need you to, to try to hold it out there for me, okay? Let's do it 10 times. One, two, three, four. That's right, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, bring it down, shoulder shrug it out, shoulder shrug it out, very nicely done. Shoulder shrug it out, shoulder shrug it forward, shoulder shrug it forward. That's right, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. That's right, you know shimmy, shimmy. I know you guys know the shimmy, shimmy. We're gonna get onto that stuff later. All right, ready. I want you to grab the chair, okay? You should, I have a pillow here, but that's gonna be for later. We're gonna end on our, on our crunches and our sit-up exercises. But now we're gonna go to our dips, okay? You got this, you know what we're talking about. So you're gonna sit in the chair, stomach and chest out. All right, you have time to get that chair. All right, you're gonna move your bottom. Yes, your bottom. Sounds like Miss Doubtfire, right? Or no, I'm not, I need to work on my acting skills, don't I? All right, don't worry, I will, I will. By the time this is over with, not today, but the rest of the week and next week, I promise you, my English accent, I'm, will we'll hopefully be a little bit better. All right, let's bring our bottom off. Our bottom, yes, let's bring our bottom off the chair. We're gonna do our dips, okay? The dips are for the, what part of the body? That's right, the tricep shoulders. There you go. Stomach in, chest out. We're gonna go down and up. Down and up, okay? Let's do this 10 times, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Come on, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, okay? Put your bottom back on the chair. All right, you can rest for a second. If you don't need to rest, don't rest. Just keep doing it. All right, ready? 
Let's go back out, okay? From here, let's do 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay, very nicely done. You can put the chair back out of your workout area, and I want you to grab, yes, grab the pillow again, and we're gonna do our bicycle kicks. That's right, our bicycle kicks, okay? So you're gonna bring your hands up, protecting your face at all times. Cycling, let's do it 30 times, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, come on, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, faster, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Hold it, hold it, hold it, come on, you can hold it. Yes, that's right, hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Hold it up, excellent, okay. Nice on the bicycle kicks. We're gonna go to our crunches, okay? Let's do, let's do 20 crunches. I think you can handle 20 crunches. Ready? So from here, we're going to go back on the floor, holding it down, hands behind your head, but not really touching your head. Legs up. Let's come up. What did I say? 20 or 50? Let's do 20. Ready? One, all the way up. Two, three, four, five, six, all the way up. Seven, come on. Eight, nine, all the way up. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, come on, Osito, 17, 18, 19, 20, I think they want to help me, 21, oh man, well, it didn't look like, okay, all right, thanks, Osito, well, I'm not sure if he was able, I think he's trying to help me, but I don't know that dogs are actually built to be able to do sit-ups. I promise I'll work, I'm gonna work with you guys after, and we'll see if you guys can do put. Very, downward dog, did you see that? Good yoga pose, Osito. He did downward dog. Isn't that cool? All right, while we're here, we're gonna do push-ups. We've, we've done a lot of those uh, push-up plank where you're holding it like this, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an actual push-up. Osito, if you wanna join me, you can. So I want you to go into your push-up position, all right, hopefully you can see me, right? And you're gonna go down and up, all right? So I'll go to the side, I'll face Osito because it looks like he does wanna help today. And we're gonna do, let's do 10 push-ups, okay? I'm gonna do 10 push-ups. Thank you, Osito, can you give me a little bit of space? All right, all right, let's go, ready? So keeping our body straight while holding that push-up plank position, we're gonna go down, oh, thank you. That's one, that's two, come on. Three, you can do more than 10 if you want to. Four, five, six, seven, that's it. Eight, nine, come on, 10, awesome. Okay, shake it out, clap it up. Really well done, okay. I wanna make sure you're ready to rock and roll tomorrow. So I want you to bring all the same equipment that we had today, a pillow, a chair, a mop, a broom, any sort of stick, a sock, two cans of soup or veggies or fruit, whatever it is that you have. And then I want you to start collecting a couple pennies because I have a fun activity that's gonna require you to have a couple pennies. So it could be one penny, so if you can find one penny around your house, that's awesome. Two pennies, three pennies, four pennies, five pennies, that would be great too. So one penny works. If you don't have a penny and you have a nickel, that would also be okay. But pennies are perfect, all right? We're gonna use those for tomorrow. Um, that being said, thank you so much for working out with me today. You inspire me. And I wanted to say thank you to all of you who have called and emailed and texted and told me how much you're enjoying the workouts. Um, we're gonna keep this going for as long as it takes. Uh, share the videos with your friends, especially those, those of you um, who know people that are part of the Los Angeles Unified School District or part of the charter schools. 
Um, they could use all the resources they could get. And uh, if you need to reach me, you know where to reach me. You can always find me on the Sagan Sports Camp website. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Stay safe. Wash your hands with soap and water. Don't forget your chores. Making your bed, sweep, mop the floor, right? If you can, if you're allowed to, or vacuum if it's carpet. And then today's chore of the day, maybe you could help do the dishes. Maybe that could, that could be something, all right? I'll see y'all tomorrow. Let's do this.